Vault. We're in the midst of winter once again, and each time after a storm has been successfully managed by our fantastic snow fighters, the desk jockey critics do their yearly whine that chlorides from road salt is ruining our environment. Well, what's the story on chlorides? Before anything else, let's get a couple of facts straight. Every state that experiences snow and ice during winter cannot survive without clear roads. Without clear roads, there would be no safety and no mobility. End of story. It is road salt that has allowed us to economically achieve clear roads in winter for more than the last half century. Road salts reduce accidents by 88% and serious personal injuries by 85%. Without road salt, each storm would paralyze the economy and cost the country billions in lost revenues. So the benefits that we derive from road salt are clear and cannot be argued. Naturally, stormwater from rain and snow melt washes the salt off the roads in late winter and early spring. So what happens to those chlorides? The only multi-year research study to look at where road salt goes was carried out by the University of Waterloo in Canada a few years ago. Their landmark study made it clear that when road salt is properly applied using best practices, something that we call safe and sustainable snow fighting at the Salt Institute, the level of chlorides in the groundwater doesn't increase. In other words, the environment is able to flush the chlorides through the system and back to the oceans where the salt originally came from eons ago. Let me repeat, the only long-term study ever carried out on the disposition of road salt shows that when it is applied properly, it does not contribute to elevated levels of chloride in the environment. The second thing we must understand is that winter runoff occurs in late winter or early spring. It's seasonal and it occurs at a time when all the living things in our waterways are in a period of dormancy, very low activity. That's why any chlorides passing through the waterway system during this period have very little effect. It's also why when the late summer and fall comes around, populations of the various wildlife in our environment remain pretty constant from year to year. So when you hear all those armchair critics complaining about chlorides after a winter storm was just successfully managed, take it with a grain of salt. Road salt was, is, and will always be the best material that we have to manage the tough winter challenges we all face. Salt!